Our loving Father, we thank you for this precious moment. We thank you for what you are going to do. We thank you for your power in this place. We thank you for the presence of your sweet spirit. We ask that you tabernacle with us. We ask that you grant unto us understanding. We ask, let there be rain from above. <laughs> and we vow that all the glory will return back to Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are in church, I want you to shout a wonderful hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to sincerely appreciate God for this hallowed privilege to be here this morning. I want to appreciate our daddy, daddy region and mommy region for this opportunity. I want to also appreciate our Zona pastor and all the pastorates. I'm very, very grateful for this. I also want to appreciate the Mercy family under the able leadership of Dr. Olanian. Thank you very much for this privilege you have given unto me. I would also like to appreciate my youth pastor, Pastor Oche. Thank you very much, sir, for making us to grow under your wings. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. This morning, we are looking at the theme, the unfailing mercy of God. The unfailing mercy of God, Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 22. I will read, the scripture says, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. Please, Sazamas, in the next 20 minutes, I want us to open our hearts because God is going to bless us tremendously. It is of the Lord's mercy. So, when I look at my life, the possibilities and the results that surrounded my life, that I am here today, it's not because of how skillful I am. That I am here today is not because of how intelligent I am. That I am here today is not because of how good my planning have been. The scripture is telling us a fundamental truth. He said, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not what? Not consumed. That day in, day out, there are things out there looking for you. That what would have killed you, that what would have destroyed you, that what would have bring an hand to God's agenda for your life. When it comes your way, there is a system in God's kingdom called mercy that protects men from being consumed. That it is not because you are intelligent. Many are intelligent more than you, sir. They are no longer here. It is not because how good I am. It is not because I am too careful. No, sir. The scripture is telling us it is of the Lord's mercy. Sir, on our seated position, can we say, Lord, thank you for your mercy. How many protection can you give your children? Year in, year out, day in, day out. The scripture is saying, it is what? Of the Lord's mercy. You can take them to school by yourself, bring them in the evening. But what happened during the day when they were in school? The Lord's mercy. That we are kept. We are shielded by the mercy of God. And I'm praying for somebody here this morning. May the mercy of the Lord not be found wanting in your life. In the name of Jesus. God's mercy is so powerful. The character of the mercy of God is that it faileth not. The unfailing, the unfailing mercy. It faileth not. Bring mercy to any situation. Call mercy to any challenge. Bring mercy to the, to the situation of your life. The scripture is saying the mercy of the Lord what? Faileth not. It's fair proof. That the mercy of the Lord has what it takes to deliver result at any time. Your situation and circumstances notwithstanding. The mercy of the Lord. But quickly this morning, what is, what is it about the mercy of God that it never fails? What is so powerful about the mercy of God that when you call upon that mercy, you are sure that the mercy will never disappoint you? How does we open our scripture quickly? First, Chron First Chronicles. First Chronicles, media, First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 11 to 13. First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 11 to 13. And it shall come to pass, this is God speaking through prophet Nathan to David. 
and it shall come to pass when thy days be expired that thou must go to be with thy fathers that I will raise up thy seed please underline that word seed not seeds seed after thee we shall be of thy sons and I will establish his kingdom verse 12 he shall build me an house and I will establish his throne forever verse 13 I will be his father and he shall be my son hallelujah and I will not take my words that God can covenant his mercy to a man that God can look at a man and say whatever happens throughout your life even after you have gone I promise you that one thing you will always find the mercy I will not take my mercy away from him now let's finish that verse as I was as I took it from him that was before I'm praying the Lord will not withdraw his mercy from your life I'm praying again the Lord will not withdraw his mercy from your life you want to see a life without mercy go and study Saul go and study Saul a man without mercy God withdrew the moment God withdrew the scripture says the Holy Spirit departed from him (laughs) I'm praying sir for you and I the Lord will not withdraw his mercy from us it looks to me as if there is nothing any man can do for a man that is lacking of God's mercy. Someone was pleading God, Lord, restore Saul. And God said, For how long shall you mourn for Saul? Because my mercy is what? How long? That is to show the depravity of walking without what? The mercy of the Lord. I will not take my mercy away from his seat. What is the seed? Who is the seed? Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 1 and verse 3 quickly. Romans 1 verse 3. Concerning his son. Now, we are, time will not permit us to read from the beginning. But this scripture is saying concerning his son. Jesus Christ our Lord. Which was made of what? Which was made of what? Seed of David. 2 Timothy 2 verse 8. Praise the Lord. That the mercy of the Lord, 2 Timothy 2 8. Remember that Jesus Christ of what? Of the seed of what? David. So mercy is the covenant of God to David established in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Mercy is the covenant of God for David established in what? In Jesus. So when I stand and say, Lord, have mercy on me. What God remember is the covenant that he made with David. And Psalm 89 verse 34 to 35 told us, said, my covenant will I not break nor utter the thing that has gone out of my mouth. My covenant will I not break nor utter the thing that has gone out of my mouth. 35. Once have I sworn my holiness that I will not lie unto David. 36. 36. His seed shall endure forever and his throne as son before me. So when I say, Lord, I know everything might have gone, but I ask for your mercy. I'm provoking a covenant. And the scripture says, God never turned back on his covenant. So you will understand. Suddenly, Bartholomew will cry and say, Jesus, thou son of what? David, have mercy. That mercy is provoked on the platform of God's covenant. Paul, David, the unfailing mercy of God. When you call upon the mercy of God, the reason why the mercy will not fail is because the mercy of God is sworn to David, established in Jesus. Praise the Lord. So, because it is established in Jesus, mercy. Ah, Sazamas, there are limitations to money. There are limitations to connections. There are limitations to certificates. There are limitations to what our human capacity can give us. But sir, when you come to the mercy of God, the sure mercies of God, the scripture says it has all it takes. It never fails. Why? Because it's backed up by 
the allowed covenant of God sworn to David established in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anywhere you see mercy at work, it is a display and an attestation of God's covenant with David which was established in Jesus Christ. In this kingdom, mercy is not for sinners only. Please, let's understand this. The point at which both the rich and the poor meet is called mercy. Not of him that will it. Not of him that run it. But you can be rich, but sir, your advantage is the mercy. You can be poor. Yes, sir. The reason why I will tell you that you have tomorrow is what? The mercy. Not how laborious you are. The mercy of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And quickly, can we, I want us to look at application of mercy. Application of mercy. Number one, Matthew chapter 18, verse 23 to 27. I will read from the Passion Translation. Matthew 18, 23 to 27. Quickly. The lessons of forgiveness in heaven's kingdom. So understand, God, Jesus is talking about the kingdom of heaven now. In, in heaven's kingdom realm can be illustrated like this. There was a king who had servants who had borrowed money from the royal treasury. He decided to settle accounts with each of them. As he began the process, it came to his attention that one of his servants hold him one billion dollars. Ah, how come on earth can a man hold one billion dollars? Even a country. One billion dollars. But let's see what happened. The interest, the most interesting thing that happened. He has borrowed money from the royal treasury and as he began the process, it came to his attention that one of his servants owed him one billion dollars. So he summoned the servant before him and said to him, pay me what you owe me. When the servant, when his, when his servant was unable to repay his debt, the king ordered that he be sold as a slave along with his wife and children and every possession they hold as payment towards his debt. Verse 26. The servant threw himself face down at his master's feet and begged for mercy. Beg for what? Mercy. I hope there's somebody here this morning that is going to beg for mercy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what mercy brings to the life of this man. He begged for mercy. Hmm. Please be patient with me. Just give me one time. More time. Give me more time. Give me more time. And I will repay you all that I hope. Verse 27. Hallelujah. Upon his pleas. The king had compassion, mercy on his servant and released him and forgave him his entire debt. I read this scripture, it blew my mind. How that a man can be begging for more time. But mercy is saying, what you need is no more time. What you need is cancellation of the debt. Ha! Ah, Jesus. And sir, how many years will this man walk to pay back one billion dollars? His entire lifetime is not sufficient, sir. I see mercy looking at him and said, you have called on me, but you are making a wrong request. This is what I will do. I will change your request. Because if this man should give you more time, even your entire lifetime is not sufficient to pay back. What I will do for you, by my mercy, is that I will not give you time. I will cancel what? The debt. <laughs> Mass. This is the extension of God to every sinner. God is saying you have gone too far. If I should give you time to be paying back all you have hold, eternity is not sufficient. But when you come, there is something called mercy in my kingdom that wipe away. It gives you a clean slate. For they that are in Christ, they are what? New. New. Praise the Lord. Give me more time. And I look at the master, the master looking at even your children, your wife, and you yourself that we want to sell. They are not even enough to pay back. We just want to recoup a bit. But since you have called mercy, ah, since you have provoked mercy, there is something that God cannot do. When God hears mercy, it becomes impossible for him to, for him to turn his back. Because you have provoked mercy, I will not just give you time what I will do for you is that I will wipe. Ah, I will wipe. I see God telling somebody in this place. Oh! Oh! I will credit it to the account of my mercy. 
My mercy has what it takes to undo it. Fear not. My mercy has what it takes. I will clean it off. If you are seated in the house, God is speaking to you. You have been on the wrong side and back side of life for a very long time. You look at yourself just like the drama. Can anything good come out again? I have traveled to, I have, I have lived too long. But I bring a good news to you. When it is mercy, when it is mercy, mercy will not leave anything untouched. Mercy will clean everything all at once. All at once. Praise the Lord. Number two. Ah, Jesus. First John chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. As we prepare to pray. I will not be able to exhaust the points. I have four points here. But I'll just stop at the second point. First John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us, knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Verse 2, quickly. Beloved, now we are his sons. We are the sons of God. And it does not yet appear at what we shall be. But we know that when it shall appear, we shall be like him. That's my consolation. My hope is that while I come to Christ, please now follow me keenly. Just from the first point, that mercy has what it takes to clean it off. Now see what mercy will do again because when you come, God will not leave you like that. That as I come to Jesus, suddenly I began to like, what will my life become? No hope again? No future again? No aspiration again? No family again? No help us again? But this is the good news. As we behold him, as we look unto him, we shall be in this kingdom hey, please I want us to understand this your possibilities and the results you have at hand is a measure of the Jesus that you have seen the possibilities the results you can display is the measure of the revelation of Jesus that has been made available unto you that in this kingdom no man rise beyond the light that he has but let me show you something. Let me show you the secret of revelation as we pray. Exodus. Quickly. Exodus. Exodus. Chapter 25 verse 17. Exodus 25 verse 17. And thou shalt make a mercy seat. Underline that word. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof. And a cubit and a half the breadth. Eighteen. Eighteen. And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold. Of beating work shall thou make them in two hands of the mercy seat 19 and make one cherubim on the one hand and the and the cherubim on the other hand even of the mercy seat shall ye make the cherubims on the two ends thereof verse 20 please can we go to verse 21 verse 21 because of our time and thou shalt put the mercy seat upon the heart time will not permit us the mystery of the mercy seat you will put it upon the heart the heart of the covenant and in the heart thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee 22 22 and there I will what and there I will what I love your prayer life sir I love the fact that you can fast I love the fact that you are studious you can wait on God and carry on God for hours. But sir, if you will ever sustain a greater dimension of God, it must be by what? Mercy. It is at the mercy seat. I will meet with you. God meeting with man. God beckoning a man to his chamber, into his secret place. Sir, we do not have what it takes in ourselves to know God. The scripture says God is a fiery fire. A consuming fire. If God will ever reveal himself to you, it will be on the, on the measure of his mercy. And permit me to say, you never rise in this kingdom. You never rise. You never rise beyond the light, the revelation of God that you have. But the revelation of God is made known unto a man. Where? At the mercy seat. 
at the mercy seat. Please, can we be on our feet? At the mercy seat. That mercy is a currency to, re- to withdraw from God. Mercy is a currency to have access to God. Mercy. Mm. Mercy say no. <laughs> I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you sleep away. You don't need, you don't need to be afraid though. Except if you don't call on mercy. Except you don't call on mercy. Mercy can give you a clean slate. Ha! Mercy can wipe everything away. That death, sir. The death that is shocking you, that is taking your life. Mercy can wipe it away. Kaba Shebran de Bakata. We have a single prayer to pray. Lord, satisfy me heavily with your mercy. Ah! I don't know how far you want to go, but for me, sir, I want to fly on the wings of mercy. For me, sir, I want to withdraw on the account of God's mercy. Lord, satisfy me early with mercy. This is the prayer of David. Satisfy me early. A parada yekato pakota shata. A preso papa bakatarada hast. Leke porada yela ato. Aya shoka la parade selete. Mess. What is that situation in your life? Can you call upon the mercy of God? Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. Arabala kapola sata. Erebele kaposke parada. Endela hata. Lord, I don't want to go like this. I have tried all within my reach. I have tried all I could do by human capacity. I have done all. But Lord, this morning, like Patolomeu, I call upon your mercy. Erebe yakoshe parada balakata. Erebe lakose parada bayakata. Endos kabon de brasahe. Ivada bahate la baratato. Rada kabaka sata. Lord, satisfy me early with your mercy. Lord, satisfy me early with your mercy. Lord, satisfy me early with your mercy. Isho baka pate. Erebe ketos. Materada. I brother, parents, pray for your children. Satisfy my children only with mercy. Your children must not be a drug addict before you before you find mercy. No, satisfy my children with mercy. Only with mercy. Kapa shepherd de katosa. For in Jesus, precious name, we are praying. Lord, as a church, we ask, please, Lord, stretch out your hands of mercy towards us. Father, we pray. Satisfy us early with your mercy. Thank you, precious Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.